G'day! Hopefully you're doing very well, keeping healthy and safe. We're going to have a look into this Dell Alienware 3423DW monitor. It's a 34 inch gaming monitor and it is a little bit of a special one. If you see my unboxing, I haven't, I've put a link in the description below. But this is a little bit different. It's got extreme brightness, a thousand nits, it's crazy. It also has this glossy display as well, which gives it very good clarity. I've been running this monitor for a month now and I can tell you, loving it for the video editing and also for the gaming as well. Now we're also going to explore, is this the ultimate monitor? So I will be putting timestamps along this video so you can skip to different sections that you may be interested to also save you time. With the ports, there are two HMI version 2.0 ports, one display port 1.4 and also two USB type A ports, which are USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports and also a audio line out. Now on the bottom, right next to the controls on the left hand side, there are also another two more USB type A ports, which again are USB 3.2 Gen 1 and also a headphone jack. It's great to see these extra ports on the bottom as they are easy to access. The monitor also has an internal power supply, which is fantastic. So you don't have to worry about any external power adapters that you could possibly lose. As for the controls for the monitor, it does have a little joystick at the very bottom center of the monitor, which is very simple to use. Looking at the possible physical adjustments for this 34 inch monitor with the stand, it's highest height adjustment from the top of the monitor to the table or whatever it's standing on is 52 centimeters and at its lowest height adjustment setting you're looking at 42 centimeters from the top of the monitor to whatever it's standing on and we also have tilt as well and i would say this is a pretty much about a stand amount of tilt you get for a 34 inch monitor we also have swivel and i'll say that's around about 30 degrees on each side and we have a little bit of rotation i would say that's around about 10 degrees rotation it's not really designed for putting this monitor in portrait mode the aw3423 dw is visa mount compatible you just need to install the included visa mount adapter before you install the visa mount bracket measuring the color gamut coverage of the 3423 dw monitor it resulted with 100% sRGB coverage, 87.8% Adobe RGB coverage, and 98.9% DCI P3. With these results, it means it has very good color reproduction and is very suited for photo and video editing. I had an extreme pleasant experience photo and video editing on this monitor. Even reading text was also fantastic, not because of the color reproduction of the monitor itself but because of the clarity from this glossy finish display normally i see a matte display this is just got that nice extra sharpness that you don't see in a matte display and i think that gives you less eye fatigue because of that as well there is very minimal ghosting from the ufo ghosting test and with the skipping frame test i did not find any skipping frames at all which is absolutely fantastic and it also has a very fast response time for this monitor. From my live stream testing and also gaming on this monitor, I did find it was quite nice. We don't make use of the extreme 1000 nits brightness for video editing and photo editing, but in gaming, this does give you a very nice competitive advantage as I've found you can see much nicer for in the dark areas, especially in FPS games. And with the RPG games and all the other simulator games, you get this very nice, vibrant and nice cloudy out of this monitor here. There are RGB lights on the monitor, which you can customize in the Alienware command center. There is a RGB light on the Alienware icon at the back, which you can change to different colors. I've just set it to blue at the moment. And there's also the stand itself, which you can actually customize as well. And then there is also the down lights, which is just at the, below the Alienware logo. And also the power button as well can be customized. Those colors are all RGB lights, which you can change to different power schemes as well. And Breeze, I've actually been using 
rainbow spin in nice changing all the different colors and I'll set the duration as well. There are two features which will improve on this Alienware 3423DW monitor. The first feature is having picture by picture. This is something I found missing from this 34 inch monitor. And what that is, is allows a second device to be able to display at the exact same time as your main computer. It does have the real estate to be able to do it. It also has the ports to be able to do it. I just could not find the feature in the menus. So definitely it could maybe be a firmware update to be able to provide that, but definitely this will definitely make this monitor a little bit more attractive to those people who actually do use that function. And the second feature will be definitely nice to see is having USB-C input and also providing power delivery through that USB-C cable as well. As there are quite a number of laptops on the market these days that only have USB-C ports. And it's definitely nice to actually output those computers to this beautiful 34 inch monitor without having to go through an adapter and also having to provide power and charge that laptop would be absolutely fantastic as well. Now, if you are not in worry about those two features and also this monitor here has absolute great color reproduction, also has fast response time, good brightness, definitely very nice bright. And I love the beautiful clarity from this glossy screen as well. And we have nice looking aesthetically with also the nice RGB lights gaming. This is absolutely a gorgeous monitor here. And I nearly could claim it as the ultimate monitor of all time. It's just missing those two features will definitely make it the ultimate monitor. But still, I will definitely put this on your shopping list if you are after a 34 inch gaming monitor or any 34 inch monitor, this is something you don't want to be skipping by. Definitely have a look at it. Now, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, and you support my channel, smash that like button for me. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And if you want to support me even further, I do also have membership as well by clicking that join button right next to the membership. I try to do a little extra for those people there. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and industry. And I'll see you next video.